I did a lot of work on aliens. I did all the pattern work for the drop ships. And I did the basic shell of Sulaco as well, where they just raided a load of tank kits and hot glue guns them on and sprayed it with two tones of grey. And it looked nice, but I think if that had been, rather than just, and I think it's because you work so close to it, I got to the point where something that's dressed with lots of EMA and kit bits looks like exactly what it is. It looks like you've covered it in glue and th just thrown a bin full of bits on it. Um, but we did a load of stuff, but the sets impressed me beyond belief and I, I they, like they stick in my mind more than anything else and that was the interior of the bay where the dropship was stored on aliens to, because to go on that set on a B stage with the big front end of the dropship there and the APC and, uh, and all the gubbins around it, it, it it felt big, but it felt claustrophobic. And I'd, I've been on aircraft carriers into the aircraft bay on an aircraft carrier, and it was like being transported forward in time to exactly the same thing. You had it, it had the right feel to me. It had that right feel. There was a crossover period when low tech was and, and suck it and see technology was was actually the way we knew. And, and 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 it worked and you didn't have to have it connected up to a computer because you know a simple knowledge of physics meant that you could make something work the way it was meant to work without any complexity and and all of that complexity is what costs money because if it don't work it takes up a lot of studio time with technicians standing around so I like them simple ways and there was something very satisfying about Achieving things simple ways. I mean, the dust off of the APC out of the dropship in Aliens. I mean, that shot, all one shot in camera with models. Is you, I, was, I remember the first time I saw I worked on it. I was on the stage when it was filmed. And yet the first time I saw that on the big screen, I was gobsmacked by it. it I believed it. And the bit where the dropship crashes, and it that was... That was back projected in front of live action with people up in the rafters chucking real stuff debris down off the you know between the actors and the screen but that again there was something incredibly believable about that and I mean you can use CG to remove mat lines and tidy stuff like that up that's when it works really good I always think that when when models are used with good CG and they complement each other, it works beautifully.